have been eliminated, sending shockwaves through former students and professors. Driving to Houston to see some of my relatives and a reporter from the Wall Street Journal called me and told me that this was his lead story and wanted comments. That was the first time I heard that I was losing my position and the job was being cut. Dr. Calvin Mackey was the first tenured African-American professor at Tulane University School of Engineering, a program that no longer exists. To cut an engineering program in the aftermath of the greatest engineering catastrophe in the history of the country, it was somewhat shocking and the shockwaves are still going through the engineering community. Whereas we've had a very fine engineering school at the undergraduate level, we, we have not been able to get to that level of being one of the top schools in the country. Tulane's decision was made four months after Hurricane Katrina, affecting about 200 students. This is short of catastrophic for the city, because if you watch over the next five to 10 years, unless UNO can get the support that we need from the city and the state in general, you're gonna have the engineering pool dry up in New Orleans. Something is wrong when an institution keeps its football team and eliminates his engineering program. And the message that's sent it to young men and young women of New Orleans is that you can come here and you can run this rock and you can dunk that ball and you can hit this pill and you can entertain, but you cannot come to this institution and get an engineering degree and save yourself and your city from the next natural disaster. The end of four departments spawned the creation of Tulane School of Science and Engineering, marking the end of one era and the beginning of another. On your side, Uptown, LaTanya Norton, WDSU, News Channel 6.